Hey guys, and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today, not so at home to Dover. Not so in good form. We've won four of our last five games. However, today's going to be a difficult test. Dover are joint top of the away form table. They've won eight of their 13 away games this season. So we've got to be ready. We've got to be on it. Hopefully, we can put in another good performance and consolidate our place in the playoff places. Come on, Knots. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. The sun's bright. But there's a nice chill in the air. It's the same team as well that won against Bromley. The same team as normal for every league game. We were meant to play on Tuesday away at Fylde. But it got postponed. A very late postponement as well. Only about, what, two hours till kick-off or something. Is when it got announced it was postponed. But we move on for a third successive home game. Fair dues to the Dover fans who made the trip. It's a long way to come for a match. We've already been to Dover this season and it's a long way. A very long way and it's it's also a long it's also a very steep hill to walk up to the ground. We've experienced that this season, so yeah. Fair dues to the Dover fans who made the trip. so far, there's not really been any clear cut chances, it's been a very, it's been a, just a big scrap really so far between the two sides, Dover are closing us alright, making life hard for us, Wes, has been, Wes Thomas has been offside twice in a minute, so yeah, not much really to report on so far. I've seen better snooker games. I quite like snooker, so yeah, I've seen lots of better snooker games than that. Um, not much has happened, really, has it? In fact, what, what you could say about it, really, is that this is two very well organised teams that are just cancelling each other out, and somebody's got a bit of spark. Where's Thomas? Misses a one on one. He really should have scored. He had off the net to wait for, and he put it straight at the keeper. Oswald just needs to whack it across into. This referee has lost complete control of the game. The Dover players don't know what he's doing. The Knox players don't know what he's doing. He's got no control on it at all. He's completely lost it. Tyson's on for Osborne. Go on, Dennis. One of them days, it's so frustrating, it's so annoying. Every little bounce is not going anywhere. It's a real battle. Oh! 
99 minutes, wasn't it, really? A precious little drama for the previous 98. Um, one chance, really, that we, we should have scored when Thomas was through. Fantastic last-ditch tackle the other end, I think it was Lacey. Um, so one, each side had one chance where they really should have scored. And then last minute for Alencio hitting the post. Other than that, I think we had Sly in the back of it. Um, they were experienced, they were organised, they ran down the clock, they, they, they disrupted things. We weren't good enough to break it. If it was a winner, it probably should have been us, but a point's probably fair on balance. Well, I've definitely seen better games of football. Dover frustrated us. But you can tell why they've got a good away record. Limit the threat the home side have. Make it a battle and try and, and, try and uh, get a goal. That's what Dover do. We didn't really think through our decisions at all. Wes really should have scored. Sam should have put a better ball across to Wes later, a, a, a bit, a bit further into the second half, and then Enzio hits the post in the last minute. Oh gosh, so frustrating! Full time, knots nil, Dover nil. A frustrating game. We could have potentially won it, but a point is a point, and now we're nine games unbeaten in all competitions. Knots were solid defensively. We created a few chances, but not as many as we would have liked. Dover had a game plan, they made it a battle, they wanted to make it hard for us and they succeeded. Them type of games are where one goal is going to win it. We had that chance in the second half with Wes Thomas when he was through on goal and he was one on one and it was saved by the keeper even though he had half the net to aim for and what he really should have done is put it in the bottom corner. You just know in these sort of games where it's not going to be your day and... In the first half, Wes Thomas got to the ball before the keeper, played it back to Enzio. His shot was, I think it was saved or blocked. It hit a Dover player. Kyle Wotton's shot was saved. It was, it was a complete carnage in the penalty area. And when it doesn't go in from, from chances like that, you just know it's not going to be your day. It's in them sort of games where not just lack something, something that will turn a draw into a win where the game is headed for a draw and we just lack that certain something that will get us ahead and get us the three points. We did create chances, don't get me wrong, but we did not create enough chances. We didn't create enough to, to you know, get us over the line, get us the three points. And this is where other teams who are further up in the league than us, they, they win them type of games. Our decision-making as well today was not great we rushed into decisions we we didn't think through what we were doing sometimes we kind of rushed it too much and sometimes we gave the ball away too easily and in the final third where we we should have played it somewhere when we and we didn't i mean there was a time sometimes where we could have we could have had a shot but instead we passed it around the goal we passed it around the penalty area instead of testing the goalkeeper. It's these sort of things where decision making in the final third is so key. But a positive to end on, Alex Lacey and Connor Rawlinson's defensive partnership. That continues to thrive. Another clean sheet. And Alex Lacey is, I, I think he's the best centre-back in this league, to be honest. He's, he, since he's come in, he has been brilliant. Since, he's, since he signed for us. Lacey has been superb and it's allowed Doyle to play further up the pitch from midfield. Him and Rawlinson together as a centre-back pairing, them two have been brilliant over the, over the last few games. Recently, them two have been outstanding and another clean sheet. Our defence has really improved from a few months ago and them two have been, they've been brilliant. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you always subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Send in your questions as well for the next vlog. Also, I will be doing a Kyle Wotton print giveaway soon. And I'll leave a I'll leave a link in the description to the tweet where you've got to like and retweet it and all that stuff. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll start that soon. Be safe, be champions, and as always, Sulush.